I am Kiran Kumar. In this video, we are going to discuss how to file the income tax return for the salaried persons in the new income tax portal and we are going to discuss about the technical glitches also in the new income tax portal while you are filing your income tax return. And before going to the video, you need form 16 or salary details like gross salary, perquisite, allowances like that. You need to keep these things with your hand and then we can move into the video. Let's start our video. Here you can see the new income tax portal and you have to go to www.incometax.gov.in Then you can find the new income tax portal. See you can find different colors also there in the new income tax portal and we are in home tab. So we have different tabs. You can see the individual ratio of salaried and business professionals. And you can see the guide for filing of income tax return also along with that. So you can find the same for companies, non-companies and the professionals or others and downloads. You can download the offline tools also and you can see the login and register two tabs there. And you have to register first to login. If you are already registered, then you can uh, log into the income tax portal i will do a separate video for for how to register for the income tax portal and so for the time being i am logging to the income tax portal now you can see here it is asking for the user id either it is pan or other you can see other user id in the right side you can see either the user id will be pan for the individuals and for the other than individuals that is company trust aop and boa form local authority etc and you can use the other number also for only for the individuals salaried employee and the senior citizens and you can use other user id also for the chartered accountant and tax deductor tax collector and e-return intermediate this is for filing uh, tds returns through a new income tax portal and here you can enter your pan number and you can continue and you have to click here and you have to enter your password details once you log into the income tax portal, you can see profile status that is 75% you can see. So for the 75%, you can avail the following services like you can file the return and you, fi you can file the forms and you can e-verify the return and other services also. And to avail these services, condemnation of request and pre-filled XML, register as representative like this, you have to update your profile. You can see in the downside, you can see on here update your update profile once you update you can avail these services as well and after that once you skip you can see file your return for the year ended 31st march 2021 you can see file now option or otherwise you can see the second option file your in the e-file tab you can see the second option anyway the two options are same so you can click on file now option after that you can select the assessment year current assessment year is 2021 22 so that is financial year 2021 so you can click on that after that you can see these filing type and 44 ab are disabled so you can continue you click on continue option and you have to choose online or offline online is most recommendable for the salary returns you can file online itself so you can proceed there will be two options that is if you have already done something you can save your draft as well you can see you, you have saved draft of income tax return pending for submission that is resume filing wherever you stop here you can start from there or you can file fresh income tax return and you can click on start new filing if you want to reset everything and you can see three options individual huf or others the status whichever is applicable to you you can click on the same if you are individual you can click on individual or if you are huf you can click on that and if you are others option there will be partnership only partnership form only remaining all are disabled so if you are individual you can select on individual option and you can continue the same and after that you can see itr form which file which itr form you have to choose for filing itr 2 is for the house property income and itr 4 the for the present to basis that is for the uh, business professionals and for itr 1 is the suitable for salaried persons so you can choose for itr 1 itr 1 is for the salaried persons so that you can click on that and you can proceed with itr 1 and here you can see itr 1 is for the individuals 
being resident other than non resident having total income up to 50 lakhs only having income from salaries then only this itr 1 is applicable and then you can see step 1 step 2 step 3 this itr 1 is a three step procedure in the first step you have to validate your returns and you have to prefill and the second step is you have to confirm your return and the third step is you have to verify and submit the return and let's get started so here you can see you have to answer the following questions to proceed further first are you filing the income tax return for any of the following reasons you have to choose the right option first one is taxable income is more than basic exemption limit that is more than 250000 and in the second option you can see three yeah that is deposit exceeding 1 crore and incurred expenditure of amount aggregate 2 lakhs for the travel for a foreign country and third option is exceeding 1 lakh for the consumption of electricity if you comes under the any of the following category you have to select the second option or otherwise you can choose the third option in my case i am going for the first option my taxable income is more than exemption limit that is 2 lakh 50000 and i can click on the continue option then you can see a pop up like this it is saying that we have prefill your return based on the information available so it will prefill the basic details like name and contact details etc so you can click on okay for this then you can see first step validate return and the second step is confirm your return and third step is verify the submit verify and submit and you can see in the first step itself there are five sub steps are there that is personal information gross total income total deductions taxes paid and total taxes liability so you have to fill all these details one by one here you can see return summary personal information this is the first step so here you can choose the first step that is personal information so here you can see the personal information you can see the profile details like first name middle name last name it is already prefilled based on your registration it will prefill so you can see the contact details also you can see the address mobile number so if you want to change any address or mobile number you can click on that edit option and here you can see the nature of employment here you can see nature of employment like central government state government public sector pensioners others etc so you can in my case i am choosing others i am doing a client for the private employment so you can choose the section 139 subsection 1 that is original return or 4 deleted return 5 that is revised return and after condonation of delay you can choose 190 if you are filing your return based on the income tax notice you can choose this then it will be automatically disabled if you disable you can enable this so you can file accordingly and you are opting for new scheme under section 115 then you can choose yes or you are following with the old scheme you can choose no and the most important is bank details you have to pre validate your bank details before filing your return you can't file the income tax return for the salary if you are not validated your bank details see here you can see it is showing validated option so before filing your return we you have to ensure your bank account is valid and you can see the instructions minimum one account is mandatory for the refund credit etc and you can confirm the same so, so you can go for gross total income that is the second step you have to enter all the salary details here so you have to click on gross total income then you can see eligible exemption details so if you have any other allowances any exemptions you can click on yes so you can you have to enter the details if you have no exemptions and allowances according to the uh, exemptions seeing like special allowances house rent allowances leave travel allowances etc you can click yes if you have or otherwise no so in my case i am choosing no and i am continuing the same so in this new income tax portal you have to confirm each and every step so here you can enter the income income from salary details like gross salary uh, you can see the edit option here so you can click on edit and you have to enter the gross salary so here you have to use your form 
according to your form 16 you have to fill these details so in your form 16 it will be very clear all these 17 subsections 1 and perquisites and profits so according to uh, form 16 you have to enter all these details and you have any exempt elements like 10 subsection 5 10 subsection 6 and you can read all those elements whichever applicable to you you can click on the same and you have to enter the amount as well against to that and here if you are eligible for any other exemption you can add and you can claim the same and here in my case you can see the net salary is for like 50,000 and if you have any deductions you, you can see the standard deduction this is 50,000 for every employee for every salaried employee 50,000 is common so after that you can enter the professional tax as well so generally in Andhra Pradesh 200 is the professional tax so I am entering the same for the full year 2400 and after deducting that you can see the eligible chargeable income under salaries and I am confirming the same and if you have any income from house property you can enter the same here so only one income property income from house property is allowed in ITR 1 if you have more than one then you can choose for ITR 2 so you have to enter the one house property income details here and that will be reflected here so if you have any income from other sources like interest etc you can add here so you can add the details and you can choose it is like a previous salary option only if you have any eligible uh, details you can enter yes or otherwise you can choose no and you can continue the same so here we have completed two steps and we are moving to the third step that is total deductions you can click on that and you can see number of reductions that is uh, donations so you can see different investments de different deductions means you can get the deduction from your gross total income whichever is you are entering here it will be deducted from your gross total income and the net total income will be chargeable for the income tax so you can click ITC deductions you can see pension insurance premium and tuition fees and any fixed deposits tax saver and fixed deposits you can enter under ATC and any pension scheme of the central government by the employer you can click on yes if you have yes if you have you can click on yes otherwise you can see no and you can click on the respective sections to know and ATD is relating to the uh, medical expenditure if you have you can click on yes the ATD will be reflected in the next steps if you have yes you can click on the yes and you can enter in the next steps so I will explain you later so you can according to your options you can uh, click all these details one by one and and entering all these you can click on continue option and here you can see ATC deductions and ATD if you have yes in the previous step you have to select yes then here you can enter the ATD details ATD is relating to the medical expenditure it is uh, it contains lot of details so it has given separately so here you can click on edit option so once you click on edit it will ask so whether you are any of your family member is any senior citizen like that you have to click if you were uh, any of your family member is senior citizen you, you can click yes or otherwise you can click no and you have to enter the health insurance details for self and family and you can see the health insurance in case of preventive health checkup only 5000 5000 is the maximum limit if you enter 7000 it will show like this only 5000 is the maximum limit for health checkup so according to this you can enter and you have, you have to enter the health insurance details as well accordingly and you are eligible for any other deduction you can enter ATG that is donations and ATCCD and ATTTA which is interest on saving bank account you can claim the deduction up to 10,000 you can enter there and you can see the total chapter 6 year deduction entitled, entitled is more than the details provided by the employer you have to carefully verify this 
you have to enter according to form 16 and you have to verify after you have entered all those things you have to confirm everything so total deductions is also over now we can move to tax paid columns that is fourth step so now you can see here verify the tax details tax paid details this is the very important section we can say that is you have to verify the details paid by you in the financial no such details you have to fill you have to view your form 26 as and if you click on form 26 as actually it should redirect to traces website but as of now the portal is not working properly so it's asking for login again i have already logged on to the portal but still it is showing uh, me to login again so it is not properly working so actually it should go for traces website so it will be available from the august so after that you can view your form 26 as as of now you can enter your details if you know the details you can enter those details if you know such details you can click on that and you have to add your detector means your employer so your employer tan and on your uh, total gross salary and actual tds detected actual tax detected you can enter all these details if you know or otherwise you can refer to form 26 as once it is available on the income tax portal so you have to confirm once all these details were entered see in my case i have total tax paid details for zero so you have to confirm in your case and i am confirming the same so you can see we have completed four steps up to tax paid details now you can go to tax details paid this is like a preview this will automatically calculate these details on the data we have entered previously in the previous steps so in my case you can see 3 lakh 17600 and you can see tax liability on 2 3 lakh 17600 it is automatically calculated and the total tax liability is 3380 in my case and you can see the rebate under section 87a it is most important and the taxpayer up to 5 lakhs income is totally eligible to rebate means up to 5 lakhs income you can claim the rebate my in my case i am below the limit so i am claiming the same so you can see the relief under section 89 as well this relief is eligible only when the salary or gratuity etc is paid in arrears or advance to claim this relief you need to file form 10e and you can take the reduction of the same from the gross salary and after that you can see the total interest and fee payable and total tax payable and you can confirm the same once you enter all these details so after confirming this you can see you have completed all the five steps so you can see there you are done and click proceed option so in the first step we have completed personal information and gross income details deductions and tax paid details and you can proceed we are ready to file return and you can proceed and you can you need to make zero payment because in my case i am below the tax limit and have a rebate so i can go for the second step we are now we are moving to the second step the second step is confirm your return summary you can see the details you can confirm the summary detail so once again you have to check all these details whether you have entered properly or not and you can see the details and you can see the preview of the return you have to re-verify again in the second step itself you have to preview and submit and in the second step itself there are two sub step sub steps there are preview and you have to verify here you can verify you can see the details and you have to click the mark you can see if you are clicking on representative it will ask for the representative details if you click on self it will automatically come your pan number and you can proceed to preview so once you confirm the pro, uh, preview once you have to re-verify again whether you entered all the details properly or not and income details and all these details you have to enter carefully before filing your return and then you can proceed to validation validation is to know whether any errors are there or not in your uh, return whatever you have filled up to now if you have any errors you have to rectify the sin and you have to preview again and submit the same so in my case i am 
seeing for validation errors so no errors were found my validation is completely successful i have not found any errors so i can now proceed for verification step that is second step in the second second sub step of my second step so proceed i am going for proceed to verification you can click on that so after that i can verify so proceed for verification i can click so it will say you can see complete your verification you can verify now or you can verify later you can verify now by using your other otp or pre validated bank account or pre validated dmat account also you can e verify immediately and you can e verify later after filing of your return within 120 days of your submission you can e verify later but you should make sure that you have to e verify within 120 days or otherwise it will be defaulted or verify via itrv you can send manual itrv to uh, cpc bangalore within 120 days this is also you have to speed post or normal post within 120 days you have to send and you can continue for the same then your return will be submitted and if you found any errors Uh, something went wrong or like that you can fill it all the details again because the new portal is not properly working and you have to submit so so in this way you have to fill all these details you have to follow all these steps and you have to file your income tax return for the salaried person and you can see after e verification if you want to e verify later you can see the option under e verify return i am showing here so you can e verify later by using this tab as well and you can see your view file returns also here once you file you can see the verified returns here hope this video is useful for you so this is for the day thank you very much kiran kumar signing off